All right, and I'm back. I've got another problem here from a from another student. Uh, this one is a problem about finding the slope of a line, finding the equation of a line, and finding the equation of a line that's perpendicular to a, a, a particular line. So we're going to go ahead and jump in with that, and uh, I hope it helps. So the exact problem statement is find an equation of the line through negative 8, negative 11, that's a point, and perpendicular to the line through negative 5, 1, and negative 1, 1. So, in pictures, we've got this point, negative 1, negative 1. We've got this point, negative 5, 1. We have a line that goes through these two. So it should be obvious from this picture and those points that this line, I'll call this one, the purple one, I'll call that one L, it should be obvious that this line has a negative slope. And what we want to do is we want to find the equation of the line through a different point, negative 8, negative 11 that is also perpendicular to this purple line. So negative 8, negative 11, that's 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 7, 8. Negative 11, I'm just going to throw a guess out here. It's, it's like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Maybe something like this. So, <clears throat> remember for perpendicular lines, there's a relationship between these slopes because these two lines meet at a right angle. Remember that whatever the slope of this line is, the slope of line L, the slope of the line we're trying to find is equal to the reciprocal of that slope negated. So the first thing that we're going to do in searching for the equation to this line is we're going to find the slope for the purple line. Then what we'll do is we will compute the slope of the line we're trying to find the equation for. And then we're going to plug that and this point into point slope form. Um, the, I, don't see the, I don't see in the instructions that the question asks for a specific form. It just, it just says find an equation. So we're, we're going to pick the equation based on what we know. And we're, we're going to know the slope and we're going to know the, uh, the point. So here we go. I, I need to know these points. Negative 5, 1. That will be our x1, y1. And negative 1, negative 1 will be our x2, y2. So to compute ML, the equation of the line L, we always do the same thing. It's y2 minus y1, that's the rise, divided by x2 minus x1, that's the run. And from our points above, we had y2 was negative 1, and y1 was 1. So negative 1 minus 1, divided by x2 minus x1, which were negative 1 and negative 5. So negative 1 minus a negative 5. Okay, so let me just confirm. Negative 1, negative 1, minus 1. Alright, so we've got it. So we'll just simplify this, right? The top is negative 2, the bottom is negative 1 plus 5, which is positive 4. So this line has a negative slope 1 half, which which looks about right. It's definitely negative, sloping down to the right, and it's it's not very steep. It's kind of a shallow slope. So negative one half fits the bill. Um, so now let's find the perpendicular slope. Sometimes this is illustrated with that symbol. So the perpendicular slope is the opposite reciprocal. So what's the reciprocal of negative one half? It's negative 2 over 1. So we take the opposite of that and we get 2. So the slope of this perpendicular line is 2. This one was negative 1 half.
right? So that, that makes sense. It's positive, it's going up, it's definitely steeper than this other one is. So that seems to fit the bill too. It, it agrees with our rough sketch here. Now the next point that we're gonna make is we just need to find this, we need to find an equation. And we know this point here. We know that it goes through the point negative eight, negative 11. So let's see if we can use that. We remember, I hope, this point x1, y1 slope form. Which says if you know a point x1, y1, and you know a slope m, then an equation for the line through that point with that slope, it looks like this, y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. And so now we just need to fill in the blanks. Our perpendicular slope was 2. And our point was negative 8 comma negative 11. So we take y minus negative 11. That's our y coordinate. And we take x minus negative 8. That was our x-coordinate. Now I'm switching x1 and y1, right? Before they were the points for the blue purple line, but now we're just forgetting those because we're working with a different line. So I'm going to just redefine x1 and y1 as these two values. I hope that's OK. And this gives us an equation for a line y plus 11. 2 times x plus 8. And this is an equation through the point negative 8 comma negative 11 perpendicular to the line L that we graphed before. So there we have it. The whole process was basically first find the slope to the line that we were trying to construct a perpendicular line to. So we got we got to know that slope. Then we find the perpendicular slope by taking the opposite reciprocal. Then we take the information that we know, the point of our desired line and the slope of our desired line, and we plug those into some form of an equation. We picked point slope form because we knew both those pieces of information, a point our line went through and the slope of it. And that made the process as simple as that. So I hope that that helps. Uh, if you have more questions, just shoot me another email and I'll make more videos. So thanks for coming in and watching. I hope it helps and I'll see you next time.